Hello everyone, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome back with another amazing video. In this video, we'll be learning how we can use YOLO V9, one uh, amazing state of the art object detection model. And we'll be also learning how we can fine tune this YOLO V9 on top of our custom data set. So guys, if you don't know, I already created uh, like the YOLO series in my YouTube channel. So let me show you. So guys, uh, this is my YouTube channel. And if you go to the playlist section, so here you will see. I already created uh, content related YOLO, see YOLO V8, then YOLO uh, V7, V6, okay, then I think V5 is also there. See all the previous YOLO version I already covered in my YouTube channels. So if you haven't watched that, so please try to check those videos. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the YOLO V9 because this model is recently published. And if you want to see the official GitHub repository of YOLO V9, so this is the official GitHub repository of YOLO V9. And what is YOLO V9? YOLO V9 is the state of the art object detection model. Okay, the things actually you have learned like YOLO V8, V7 and so on, right? So that was also state of the art object detection model. But YOLO V9 is better than actually your previous version. You can see the performance. So this is the benchmark. So here you can see YOLO V9 is performing better than your previous version of YOLO. And uh, you will also get a good uh, AP score here. That means average position here. And if you also see the time, that means the, let's say inference time, it is also good than your previous model. That means you can also use this model for the real time prediction. Okay, this is the idea. Now it is having actually different, different variant of the model. You can see YOLO V9, T, S, M, C, and E. Okay, so these are the variant actually it is having. And uh, everything they have given in their uh, GitHub repository, like how we can set up this YOLO V9 and how we can execute the code. See, it is having the detect.py. And if you want to train for this, you have to use the train.py. Okay. And this is for the validation. Let's see if you want to validate your validation data, you can execute this command. Okay. So if you already used actually previous version of YOLO, I think uh, it looks familiar to you. Like these are the command we also executed there. So let's try to see how we can use this YOLO V9. First of all, I will show you the inference part, like how uh, you can perform the inference on top of the pretend model. Then I will also show you how we can do the custom training okay on top of your custom data set okay this thing i will also show you but before that let me show you the paper of yolo v9 so this is the paper guys learning what you want to learn using uh, programmable gradient information this is the name of the paper and if you want to understand the architecture like what are the things they have included so feel free to visit this paper every link actually i will attach in my description so that you can get all the link from there only okay see everything they have added what kinds of data they are used what kinds of architecture they're using everything they have added here fine so i already created one notebook guys so this is the uh, collab notebook so we'll be running everything in our collab and because in collab actually we'll be getting free gpu okay that is why now if you want to connect with the GPU, click on the runtime, uh, click on the change runtime type and select the T4 GPU if you are using free collab. But if you are having premium collab, you can also use a, a100 and L4 GPU as well. Okay, it's up to you. Now let me save and let me connect my notebook. And this notebook would be available in the description section from there you can uh, open it up. So my notebook is connected. Now let me check the GPU. So for this, you can execute this command NVIDIA hyphen SMI. So it will show you your GPU configuration. Now, first of all, what I have to do, I have to uh, get my current working directory. For this, you can use operating system package and just write os.getcwd, you will get your current working directory, which is nothing but content right now. So the first thing what I have to do, I have to clone that repository. So this uh, yellow V9 repository, for this, just click on code and copy the link and just try to paste here. Okay, first of all, it will clone. Then after that, inside that, we are having one requirement.txt file. See, this is the requirement.txt file. So inside that, I'm having all the requirements. Okay, I need to install if I want to use YOLO V9. So let me do it. So I'll just execute this command. So it will first of all clone, then inside YOLO V9 folder, it will install requirement.txt. So the same actually setup process, if you have used a previous YOLO version, I think you'll know, okay, how to make the setup and all. Fine, now if I refresh here, you'll see uh, this, uh, this uh, repository is cloned and all the requirements also installed here. Okay, now see whatever uh, files and folder you can see here, everything is visible here, okay? Great. Now I have to install RoboFlow, okay? See why I need the RoboFlow because I'm going to use a data set from the RoboFlow universe. So here you can see guys, this is the RoboFlow website and here we'll be using something called universe. Okay. Because inside universe, we're having a uh, lots of data. See, we are having lots of data. So you can see the data uh, quantity here. Okay. So any kinds of data actually will get from this uh, RoboFlow universe. Just you need to search here. So in this particular video, I'm going to use one data set called football player data set. Okay. This is the data set guys, football player detection data set. And this is a object detection data set and this data set is already annotated and how to do the annotation with the help of RoboFlow? i already created the tutorial in my youtube channel let me show you 
So previously I also created, let's say one video, uh, YOLO V5 object detection on the custom data. Okay, so here I already showed you how we can perform the annotation. Okay, with the probe flow. So please try to check this video. I'm not going to show you the annotation part because I already covered there. So from this uh, probe flow universe, I'm going to download the data and I'm going to do the custom training. Okay, on top of my model. Now the first thing, what you have to do, you have to download the model. See, if you're using YOLO V9, YOLO V9 doesn't have the capabilities, it will download the model automatically. So we have to manually download all the models. But previously, I we saw like, if you're using YOLO V5 or let's see YOLO V8, these are the model, it can download the model automatically. Okay, but here you have to download the model. Now see, here we are downloading actually four kinds of model, YOLO V9, uh, C, E. Then we are also downloading one model called uh, GILAN C and GILAN E. Okay, so these are the model actually we are downloading. So let me download all of them one by one. So it will just create a folder called weights inside that it will download all the model. See, fine. And this is the model location. So inside this repository, this model is available. Okay, you can see open the repository, you will see the model location. Now this is the command to check whether we have downloaded all the models or not inside the weights folder. Got it. Now, first of all, I will show you the inference of on top of my uh, pretend model. For this, I'm going to download one example data. So this is the data guys I'm going to download. So this is one image actually. So this is one dog image and it is available in the overflow server. So let me download this image. Now see this image is downloaded called dog. Uh, I think it is available inside data. See dog.jpg. Okay, if I open the data, you will see that image. So let's uh, test my model. But uh, before that, I'm going to assign the path of this image. Now here, first of all, I will be using this GLAN-C model. Okay, inside words, you can see GLAN-C model is available. Okay, with the help of that, we'll be doing the detection. Now see, to, if you want to, now see, if you want to perform the inference, you have to call this detect.py. You can see inside YOLO v9, we are having one file called detect.py and say detect.py, all the code they have written. Okay, like uh, how it will load the model, how it will, let's say do the detection, everything is written. So here you don't need to write anything from scratch. Okay, so we'll be only executing this file. And here we'll be providing the weight directory. See, this is my weight directory. Okay, this is the confidence score. As of now, I keep the confidence score small because I just wanted to detect all the, let's say, uh, objects present in the image. Okay, but whenever you are creating the actual product, just try to make this confidence score 50%, around uh, 0.5. Okay, you can keep. Now, this is the source image. Okay, now, why is your source image present? Here, my source ima image is present. Okay, inside data folder. And device is equal to zero. That means I want to utilize my GPU. Okay, for the inference. So now let me execute the program. If you don't want to use GPU, that time you can remove this part. Okay, it's not required. So it will utilize your CPU that time. Now see, here it is detecting the results. Now see, it has done the detection. Now if I refresh, and there would be a folder called runs, it will create. Now in, inside runs folder, inside detect folder, inside experiment, you will see the detection. Okay, see, this is the detection. Okay, your model has detected beautifully this dog, person, as well as the handbag. Now, if I want to visualize the detection in my collab notebook, I can execute this command. Okay, I can use one uh, library called I, IPython display. And with the help of image functionality, I can render it. Now, see if I execute. And here you need to pass the location of the image. Now, see this is my detection. Okay, now see the detection is pretty good. Here it is doing one mistake actually. It is not actually a handbag. It's a, I think, dog... Uh, I think it is a dog belt, okay, kinds of. But again, uh, if you are using any other model, you will get a good detection. Now, see, it is also detecting the car, this small object, okay. Because see, it is detecting as a handbag. Uh, I think they had the handbag actually classes in their data set. That's why it is considering as a handbag because handbag uh, like belt would be also same, okay. That's why. Now, let me use another model called YOLO uh, 9E. Okay, this model actually will be using. We are running the same command only. We are changing the model location here. Now, let me execute. Now, here is the results. Uh, see, now it is also detecting the backpack as well. Okay, so this model is pretty good than your previous model. Now, I'm going to show you the fine tuning part, like how we can fine tune on top of the custom data. So for this, first of all, let me relocate my YOLO V9 folder. Now here, I'm going to download the data. And if I want to download the data, what I have to do? So go to the data set link. And here you will see one option called download uh, projects. Let me click here. Now here you will see one option called download data set. Just click here. First of all, you have to sign up with your account. So let me sign up with my account. So after sign up guys, you will see these kinds of options. Now here you have to select the format. Now see here I'm using YOLO V9. So YOLO V9 is available. Just try to select this option and show the download code. Okay, you have to select this option and click on continue. Now it will give you one code snippet. 
with the help of code snippet you have to download this particular data now see this is the code snippet just try to copy and paste it here okay this is the code snippet now here if i execute this code snippet see it will ask for one authentication api authentication token and to get the authentication token just visit this link and make sure you have the account uh, and make sure you have the account inside roboflow okay otherwise you won't be getting this kinds of window now select your work workspace so this is my workspace i'll select and generate the token now this is your token just try to copy and paste it inside that and press enter see it will authenticate and after that it will download the data uh, from the roboflow universe okay see automatically it will download so i don't need to manually download it as well okay it is one amazing actually platform you can use roboflow so it will give you all kinds of functionality for the computer vision now uh, guys uh, you can see my data set is downloaded if i refresh and the data set would be available inside my yolo v9 folder see this is the data set we are downloaded and this is the data.yml file i think you know what is yml file and this is the same yml actually we also had in our previous yolo version as well and inside that we are having the image as well as the annotation file okay see this is the image so these are the image and with respect to that these are the annotation that means levels okay txt annotation it is the coordinate point of the object fine and how to perform the annotation i already discussed just please try to check my previous video okay there i already discussed how we can perform the annotation now we can start the training okay see yolo if you are using yolo v9 no need to do anything directly you can start the training after getting the data now here you have to set some parameter the batch size number of epoch then um, you have to also set the image dimension and device i want to use my gpu i have given zero if you're using multiple gpu uh, you can uh, use this command i think so they have also given one command for training multi gpu see multiple gpu you have to run this command fine great and then you have to pass the data location so here i'm passing my data location and here i'm also giving the low weight location like which particular model you have to do the fine tuning i'm fine tuning this glan c model okay great now see if i execute this line you will see that uh, my uh, training will be started and as of now i just uh, mentioned five epoch but if you are uh, training your actual model try to increase the epoch size okay because i wanted to show you uh, that's why i just said five epoch now see my training has started and currently my number one epoch is going on so let's wait i will uh, pause the video once this training is complete i will come back so guys you can see my training is completed and all the uh, artifacts got saved inside my train experiment folder now let me refresh go to the runs folder inside that you will see one folder called train inside that experiment and see here all the artifacts is saved that means whatever matrix actually you got after training like confusion score then results okay everything is saved here and you will see also weights okay inside words folder your base.pt is your uh, final model okay now let me just visualize some of the matrix just to show you the performance of the model so you can list down all the experiment uh, uh, you have in the experiment folder now see uh, if i execute this code it will uh, render the results.png see now this is the results now you can see loss is decreasing and accuracy is increasing that means my model is learning better fine so you just need to increase the epoch size then you will see the good performance from the model okay now if i want to show you the confusion matrix so this is the confusion matrix multi-class confusion matrix because here we had different different class i think you remember so inside football if i open the data.yaml so these are the level ball goalkeeper player and referee okay so these are the four classes we had in the data now if you want to see some batches so here is the batches okay now let me show you the now if you want to validate the custom model on top of your validation data you can also do it for this just execute this code now it will load your train model you can see it is loading your training model from the location okay this is the idea so it is available i showed you in the location inside runs folder train experiment weight base.pt fine now see it is doing the evaluation and here you will get all the precision recall map score everything you will get okay after doing the validation see this is your final validation results now let me show you the inference with my custom model now i'm using my test data and i'm using my train model and now let me show you the prediction and for this you have to run one uh, file called detect.py which is available inside yellow v9 folder let me show you detect.py and again inside detect.py all the code is written fine now see i got the detection if you want to visualize just execute this code see these are my detection and the detection is pretty good guys you can see although i just trained five epochs but it still it is good 
and here you can see the detection results will save inside the runs folder only so runs detect okay inside that experiment 3 and all the detection fine great so that's how actually you can do the uh, actually custom training on top of your custom data and if you want to do the inference only you can also do the inference and this is one amazing model guys so you can use for the object detection task so yes this is all from this video i hope you liked it so please try to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time